Locks come in a variety of types and sizes. But their principle is the same, to raise or lower the water height to allow boats to pass from one level to another. This is done using two gates or sluices which either dam or evacuate the water, allowing it to rise or fall as required. Where there's a larger vertical break in the canal, you may come across locks that are organised in chains. Boats pass through successive locks until the final lock is equalised and passage along the canal is once again possible. The operation of locks differs from area to area and is covered in the waterway guide. Generally they fall into a number of categories. Unmanned manual mechanical locks are very rare now. Many locks will be manned by a lock keeper who will operate the lock mechanism for you. Depending on where you cruise, automated locks are operated by either a push button, a card or a pole. The process is automated from there on. It's worth being aware that locks have opening times and usually close for lunch and at night, so you should plan your journey accordingly. Locks often have a light system to indicate your course of action as you approach them. Again, these differ from area to area. The waterways guide for your area features instructions on the type of lights you might encounter. If the lock you are approaching is not open, you should wait at least 100 metres from it to allow any boat emerging sufficient room to get underway and safely pass you. If several boats are waiting to enter a lock, each one should enter in order of their arrival. Although official and commercial boats have priority over leisure craft and should be allowed through first. When you come to access a lock, if possible, you should put a crew member ashore prior to entering the lock to help guide the boat in and to secure mooring lines. Enter the lock slowly. Remember to stop well clear of the gates as water can come in or out at a high rate. Remember too that when securing the boat, the water will be rising or falling, so you should take account of the boat's vertical movement. Never tie the ropes around the cleats in the locks. Simply pass the rope around the cleat or bollard and hold onto the rope to steady the boat as it rises or falls. Some very deep locks have bars set into the walls. Mooring lines can be slipped around these bars and fed back to the boat. On others there may be bollards to slip a rope around. Once all the boats in the lock are secured, the gates are closed. Water will either drain from the lock until it drops to the level of the water on the other side, or fill the lock from the higher water outside the gate if you are going up. As the level changes, crew members should adjust the tension of the lines to hold the boat in position. Only once the levels are totally equalised will the gates be opened. Locks are often quite narrow, particularly near the gates, so crew members can help guide the boat using the boat hook. When you're ready to get underway, you can release the mooring lines and slowly exit the lock.